it's almost 7 30 in the morning and we're already starting to get some sunshine on the greenhouses i've been watering the the greens growing in the walkway little lettuces oh man i really need to get out here again and clip back this fluffiness especially this orange <laughs> or my cucumbers are not gonna have a chance to live in this other greenhouse i've also been hand watering the direct seeded lofty salad mix and i'm starting to see some little guys pop up here and there lettuce out here in the garden is doing good so far so good after i lost a whole batch of lettuce to crane fly larva and we got kale and chard growing in this bed and almost big enough to pick do you think normally i see a bunch of flies but i'm just seeing like <laughs> one lone crane fly and uh not a whole lot else under here and i've been watering <laughs> the green onions that I pulled from that same bed and they're surviving along with the green onions I have in my soil blocks here and my last batch of Salanova lettuce starts. I did an emergency harvest <laughs> of the biggest orange leaves in front of the cucumber plants here and also this one row of lettuce that was blocking the light from the cucumbers over here. And I've been using this greenhouse table where I pulled the legs off and I've just been kind of scooting it along the two edges of the beds, you know, to, to put my tub and, you know, be able to harvest. And actually it's been working out all right. Okay, so of all the many things that I need to do, I think probably the most important is to <laughs> plant out my potatoes, which it's only just a couple months late, no biggie. Um, and plant them in the new garden area out here in these four beds. Um, need to dig a couple of pathways first so I don't just compact the whole area out there. Okay, so I had high hopes I'm gonna plant a bunch of potatoes today, but I managed to get two pathways dug out, the final two pathways in the new garden area. Um, and now I have all of my beds established kind of out here. It was warm today. Um, but the trees started shading this area, so it wasn't as bad. Um, 70 degrees here, when the sun comes out, like, I don't know what it is about the sun in Alaska, but it is hotter than sun elsewhere. Um, 70 degrees feels like 80 something degrees. Um, and then you go into the shade and it's comfortable. <laughs> so I'm going to do a little test strip here for potatoes. Um, I've got a little bit of rotted seaweed from, you know, combination of seaweed I got from the beach in this last fall and combined with shredded cardboard. I'm gonna throw that into the hole that I've dug. So yeah, so a little bit of rotted seaweed, a little bit of peat moss because this soil is, um, is a little bit closer to neutral and what potatoes like acidic, a little bit more acidic. So then I'm going to plant the little potatoes and cover them up and see how it goes. And I've got my shepherdy potatoes. I could probably space these larger potatoes, you know, wider, but I'm just going to stick with the one foot spacing. And, uh, and I'm going to mark where I've already got a potato. Fill it back in. Keep on moving. The noceums are coming out. Can you see them? Can you see the noceums? Potato Peter, who lives at the south end of Wrangell Island, got me these different potatoes. And I'm gonna plant them at the end here, like I ran out of my shepherdies. So I've, I've marked it with a stake and I'm just gonna plant them along here at the end. And I need to get him something in trade for these little guys. Thanks, Peter. Okay, so I got one bed done. It's got a little bit um, space at the end still, um, but that's progress. Just out here in the garden doing an impromptu weeding 
you know, pulling out some grass, guys. And look who was eating at the base of the grass. They loves the grass, supposedly. That's our little crane fly larva. Hello. So it was just too hot out here to um, work today. A whole 76 degrees in the shade. And so I did um, non-sunny things today, or things that you wouldn't mind doing in the sun. I cleaned out my um, harvest tubs, which were super grubby from the detritus of carrots and potatoes. Um, so I've got my bug hat. German butterballs. And I will plant the rest of these guys tomorrow in this bed. Mighty night. Before it gets too hot, I need to cut this other row of Salanova lettuce that's getting fluffy. I can put that into my salad mix. I'm gonna go ahead and cut some or all of that half bed of baby chard in the back there. Some of these guys are still uh, pretty little. Um, and some of them are bigger. And some of them are bolting. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull the hoops off the kale and um, just get this last row cover out of the pathway so I can I can kind of work in between here and get the baby chart from there. So yeah, that's it for um, row cover on the, the, <laughs> the kale and the chart and kale beds here. So I ended up cutting just like the tallest little patches um, out of various places. So this is kind of like um, the mange method of harvesting. Two beds tilled. So, um, what happened yesterday? <laughs> um, between, you know, my whole bed of spinach that I harvested earlier and the little bit of lettuce that I got from the greenhouse and the baby chard, you know, I ended up with a lot of lettuce mix and I spent yesterday washing that and prepping that in the sink because I don't have my wash station and my bubbler ready yet and um, you know it's not set up <laughs> and so this morning after I watered everything um, I contacted all my folks that I sold to last year and so I've been spending a couple hours doing text back and forth <laughs> Cause I don't have any fancy system. I'm just going to be doing texting. So anyway, I'm going to harvest, you know, some kale and stuff like that today and see much how much I have so I can get totals to everybody, you know, cost totals tonight. Um, so I'm going to start with that. I was just about to harvest this bok choy. Guess who is down here? My little crane fly larva is having a nibble at the base of the bok choy. These little fellows are everywhere. Okay, so I've decided what I'm going to plant in these two tilled beds. I um, did a little test of lofty salad mix early in the greenhouse and that worked out really good. I've gotten a couple cuts already. And so I went ahead and bought more seed this is something that was suggested to me as a try um, by Ryan from Thistle Hill Farms. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do both beds. And I know that in a half bed, I'm going to be transing, transplanting out my green onions, but I think I'm just going to transplant them into the seed because if the seed comes up in that half bed, it doesn't really matter probably. Okay, I covered these two lettuce beds in Thrips row cover just so if there's some birds interested in pecking out the seed. Hi, I'm taking a popsicle break. It's mango. I don't know. Where's the shade? Oh, the sun just went behind the clouds. Yay. The 
This is me eating a popsicle. Okay, let's get started on potatoes. Okay, so I've got the shepherdy potatoes and miscellaneous Peter potatoes in the back in this first bed. Second and third bed are all German butter balls. I added some extras in the end, and so I have a total of 44 in each bed, 88 German butter balls. And um, I had an additional 12 German butter balls in the back of this fourth bed, and the rest in the front here are hide of potatoes. Okay, dudes, we're gonna have to celebrate potato planting uh, some other time. <laughs> One more sunny day and then it's supposed to get overcast and we're supposed to get some rain. Hopefully we'll get some rain. Can't believe I'm hoping for rain. Okay, so I just got back from my first big delivery of the season, first week of June. It's not like it's really big, 17 people, but sometimes little, little orders. It is 8.30 at night. It doesn't look like it though. It looks like it's broad daylight. Are oh, the bugs already eating me? So I already pulled back a uh, half bed back there and gritted it with the four row gritter for green onions. Okay, so we've got 144 green onions, not quite a half bed. Uh, I spaced the little guys three per square, but these ones that were bigger that I had kind of pulled out and I'm retransplanting, I spaced them at each corner because they're kind of bigger and harder to deal with. I'm gonna water these guys in. Done, 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 done.